And welcome back, everybody. You're watching News Channel 3 Live at 9 on this Wednesday morning. Millions, millions of Americans are being told that they are bipolar or have adult ADHD. They are often put on medication to help, but the real problem may be at home. Dr. David Allen is a professor of psychiatry at UT Health Science Center, and he has a new book out that examines the role of family dysfunction in mental disorders. Welcome, Dr. Allen. So glad to have you here, doctor. What, what spurred what you to write about? this book? Yeah. To begin with, well, uh, as a training director and responsible for training the psychiatrists in the future, I've seen more and more patients come in with uh, multiple labels on concoctions of medications that make absolutely no sense at all from a biological standpoint mm -hmm. that have been changed over and over again. And I've been treating self destructive and self defeating patients in therapy uh, for. 35 years right and uh, a lot of these people don't even meet criteria for these major mental disorders like bipolar disorder that they're being told that they have and that is a major major mental disease correct well absolutely but uh, it's not subtle I mean uh, it's not just mood swings that seems to be the common uh, language that's being used, they're mood episodes. If you're manic, it's like you've just taken a whole bunch of amphetamines. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's obvious. It's, it's fairly obvious, but okay. now any mood swing at all, uh, uh, even temper tantrums in little children, there's a move to make a temper dysregulation disorder uh, oh, please. A diagnosis, and it only requires like three temper tantrums a week. Any mother wow. of a three-year-old can tell you that happens all the time. Okay. So, doctor, with that in mind, though, y you have so many people who, who appear to feel that the answer is being medicated. Is that the answer, or is that the easy way out? Well, again, it depends on the situation. In some cases, medication is very helpful, and it's the, uh, the major treatment, like uh -huh. for major chronic mental illnesses like schizophrenia. Uh, but uh, and, and medication can help you calm you down if you're having a lot of problems at home, marital strife, violence, uh, that sort of thing. But uh, you can't really buy your way out of um, severe family problems mm -hmm. with pharmaceuticals. Um, and there's a, a move in the country to label everything, to treat it now, quickly, and cheaply, um, and to get paid for it uh, these days with managed care. Um, you have to attach these labels so people get quickly put on these medications, sometimes potentially very uh, dangerous and toxic medications. Who ha that have side effects. So what, what would effects. be the better answer if someone comes in with a, a situation where maybe they're showing some symptoms of depression, might be situational though. Is talk therapy uh, more the thing that you would advise? And are doctors doing that? Well, psychiatrists have kind of moved away from it because they don't get paid for it anymore. And even psychologists are trying to get prescription writing privileges because that's where the sort of where the money is Seriously? But, uh, but talk therapy uh, and not all kinds of talk therapy there's uh, some that are helpful and some that are not uh, but I want people to know that um, that there is help that if you have severe family problems discord uh, that it's okay I mean, there's not, that doesn't mean that you or your family are awful people or anything like that but you really need to step up to the plate and get the kind of help to resolve these ongoing repetitive uh, interactional patterns doctor so how how does that family know how do those individuals know that they might need help or that their family might be as we hear the term so often these days dysfunctional you know you turn on the tv these days you see comedies you see dramas they are these so-called dysfunctional families how do I know if my family is actually dysfunctional or well, not? Well, again, there's all kinds of uh, severity levels, mm -hmm. but the more severe cases are obvious. I mean, if there's child abuse, neglect, uh, substance abuse, uh, domestic violence, um, but it can be more subtle. If you uh, adults that go home and uh, are constantly on edge around their parents and feel that their opinions are discounted and that their memories are, are not true, uh, that's called invalidation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and, and over the long term, and over the long term, it leads to anxiety and uh, depression and moodiness, and in some cases, it leads to severe personality problems, self-destructive behavior, people who cut and burn themselves. Okay. Uh, and that's not, I guess, depending on how you define mental illness, that's not probably a brain disease. Mm -hmm. What you're saying is medication is to. Um, balance the chemicals in the brain and actually replace something that may not be there. It's not necessarily a panacea for a mood disorder that may be caused by outside forces? 
Is that? Well, all mood, all depressions are not alike. Some, uh, they use the term chemical imbalance. That's really a misnomer. We really don't know how the antidepressants work. Oh, okay. But clinical depression, in my opinion, is a real is a real disease. It's different than the everyday blues or feeling down or moody or anxious. Okay. Um, so antidepressants can help in some situations and aren't helpful in others. We're hearing a lot about how the Prozac-like drugs uh, aren't effective. Well, mm -hmm. uh, it depends effective for what. In severe clinical depression, they're very effective. Uh, but even in those cases, a lot of times stress, chronic stress, sets off an episode of a clinical depression. Gotcha. And if you don't deal with that, you're going to have repetitive episodes in the future. Gotcha. In other cases, the, the chronic interpersonal discord is the main problem. Mm -hmm. uh, and if that's not addressed, you're, you're just putting a Band-Aid on a cancer as far as well, I Well, the pharmaceutical companies love that, though, because they sell a lot of drugs, don't they? Well, and, and we're seeing uh, seven different pharmaceutical companies have had uh, settlements with the Justice Department for off-label marketing there was a, of their medications. There was a concerted effort uh, documented by uh, the memos that were released, uh, weren't supposed to be released, but the journalists got a hold of them, mm -hmm. to expand the diagnosis of bipolar disorder to include anybody who's sort of chronically anxious, uh, wow. depressed and moody, and it was originally targeted at uh, primary care physicians, but for uh, you know, psychiatrists have kind of jumped onto the bandwagon for a variety of reasons. Wow. All right, Dr. Allen, we put your information Man. up on the screen there because we know a lot of folks are going to be interested in your book and what you've had to say, and we appreciate you being here this morning. Uh, book Thanks signing for next Tuesday me. at Davis Kid as well. Thank right. you so much. Thank okay. you. Glad to see you. All right. Okay. Up next, some very special and talented